Hey, hey, hey. What is that? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Michaela Pink. Welcome to Mornings with Michaela. How are we? Good morning, everybody. I need a blotter thing. Hi. So, I hope everyone is having a great, fantastic morning. Um, we're up early, yet again, bright and shiny. And um, I'm back with another video. So, I hope you guys have had a chance to um, subscribe to my channel while you're here. I hope you've had a chance to kind of look at the channel and see that uh, we've been starting very early. Very, very early. And um, so now, this morning, we're talking about a great, uh, I think this is a great topic. Um, this is a very hard, hard topic for some of us to um, get into. And, um, but I feel like it's necessary and I know it's going to be helpful. So let's talk about if being submissive is um oh hi ruth welcome to your first michaela pink video thank you um let's talk about if being submissive is an advantage and y'all sorry about this lighting but i'm just gonna have to go with it let's talk about if being submissive is advantageous to your relationship somebody said submissive isn't godly um and i guess it depends on what God you're speaking of, because most people believe that God tells women to be um, submissive. Um, I don't know if this is a religious thing. Um, I guess it can be. It can be considered a religious topic because uh, the Christian Bible certainly speaks of um, submission in the Bible, in uh, biblical terms as far as being um you know wives submit to your husbands um it clearly states that in the bible so um i guess if you're a christian that is part of your teachings and the way that you were brought up and um you know i think it's it's um it definitely is relative because submission looks very different to different people right so by definition, by definition, submission, submissive means to conform to the authority or the will of others. Mm -hmm. um, and it says meekly obedient or passive is what the definition of submissive is so let's see what submit is defined as in the English language since we're getting very technical um to submit means to accept or yield to a superior force or the authority or will of another person it also means to subject to a particular process treatment or condition and then next it means present a proposal, application, or other document um, to a person or a body of consideration for consideration or judgment. So you give someone something, you submit it to them. Now, the hardest part of some of this, or the hardest part of this for a lot of women is the authority or will of another, right? Why do I have to submit to the authority or the will of somebody else? It's all about me. Me, 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 right? Um, the Hebrew version means the response after you give it. Um, why? why? Why is submission necessary? Um, so when you are interacting with someone, when there is a, um, an exchange, there is a dominant force, and there is a submissive force whenever and this happens in every single exchange 
it does this isn't necessarily something that is in romantic relationships which is what we're talking about though we are speaking of submission in the way of a romantic relationship but you can submit everywhere you submit on your job you submit to your children you submit to um the will or the want of a business partner you submit even if you don't think you do every single day every day it does basically very basically depend on what you are submitting to now you can choose to submit to the will of an employer and get a check you can submit to the will of a newborn <laughs> and the baby will live. You can submit to um, your friend and participate in an activity that she wants to participate in, right? So there's lots of different things you can submit to and that you do willingly submit to. It's just a matter of what you hold valuable and what you deem worthy enough to submit to. Now, a lot of women, lots, every woman, basically, in America is all about that check. I want my, I'm trying to get my bag. I don't care. I want my money, right? Everybody is about the money now. 2020 is the age of get that bag, girl, at all costs. You need to sleep with these old men and get your bag. Sorry. So that is what is necessary for you to get there. So when you think about submission, I want you to think about it in terms of defaulting to, defaulting to. What are you defaulting to? What are you um, taking the underling supposed role to? And um, it's hard at times to do that because we don't ever want to feel like we've given someone else our power. Don't forget to like this video. Lots of people don't want to feel like they've given someone or something other than themselves their power. But are you really powerful? Somebody says, it's so unnatural. It's absolutely not unnatural. Again, you submit. Y'all, YouTube is just not wanting me to live today. Sorry, I don't know um, if you guys can see me. I guess you can see me. I can see myself here, but I can't see you guys here. So we'll keep going. Um, <laughs> you can, um, you do submit every day. When you are driving in traffic, you have to submit. You cannot always be the very first in line. You can't always uh, have this position and have this position. You know, you can't always cut people off because I'm not submitting. You can't do that. Submission is absolutely necessary for survival. You have to submit to something. If you don't submit to something, you will die. That's just the, you're going to die. If you don't submit to something. So it is very natural to submit in order to survive. You have to. You have to submit in order to survive. So this is the thing. Submission when in a romantic relationship may seem unnatural if you have never seen it done before. Exactly, Miss uh, Samantas. If you, if it, submission does not mean that you are a slave. It just means that someone is not ahead of you, but someone is in the forefront. Think about it. Think about it in terms of the army, okay? If you are in the army, there is somebody who's on the front line. This person is on the front line. They're going out first and they're going out before you. If I'm going out before you, that means I am your cover. Mm, somebody? That means I am your cover. I am your shield. Now you can come out, guns a blazing. You can come out, you can come out shooting. 
You can come out shooting, but guess what's going to happen? Boom, the first bullets are coming to you. But if you have a cover, if you have submitted yourself to the one who is on the front lines, then you sit back and you take the remnants of what happens when you're on the front line. Now, I am submitting to someone who has a very powerful gun, somebody who has proven themselves to be worthy to be a front runner. I'm not submitting myself to the average Joe. I'm not submitting myself to, you know, um, anybody. I am submitting myself to someone who has proven to be effective, okay? When you submit, you understand that there is someone else in front of me. Now, now, the person who's on the front lines also needs somebody behind them. You, again, if you're out here with nobody in front of you or nobody behind you, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? The very first people get killed in battle and the very last people get killed in battle. The people in the middle have a much more chance, much greater chance of survival. The people in the front are going to die. <laughs> Just what it is. People in the back are probably going to die. People in the middle have a greater chance of survival. You have to think about submission in terms of protection. I'm submitting to someone who is providing and protecting me. I am not submitting to any Joe Schmo. Now, with that submission comes ideas very strong, very beautifully packaged, very nice and frilly innuendos, okay? So though I am submitting, that does not mean my opinions don't matter, my feelings don't matter, my um, take on things does not matter. The person in the submissive role is likely the very most powerful one in the relationship. Because the person in front of me needs me. If I don't do my job as the person who has submitted, the person in front of me is going to lose. Think about it. Without the worker, can there be a boss? Without the worker, can there be a boss? No, there can't be. If I'm not working for you and you have to work for yourself, you can't do it all by yourself, right? I think the word submission has been so abusively used in my life that I have total resistance to it. I feel vexed when I hear it, so I have to refrain from it. And that is the that is the case for most African American women. I ain't submitting to nobody. <clears throat> but you know why? Because if your self worth is this much, you have not deemed yourself important enough to be protected by someone. You have been told that you have to do it all alone. You have seen. Everyone in your life do it alone. Of course, that's going to be a reality for you. Of course, it will be. I need somebody to protect me. <laughs> I'm a woman. Think about it, y'all. Think about it. And I mean no harm. No harm intended. I'm just telling it like it is. Okay? Just telling it like it is. There are women police officers great women police officers. There are. There are women firefighters. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are. Who do you want rescuing you in a fire?
Just saying. <laughs> I need somebody that can pick me up, somebody that can run fast, somebody that got shoulders that can huh, pick you, pick me and my kids up. He got me and two boys, and he running. I got the other baby. We, I, I need that. I need that. Now, there are women who are doing this on a daily basis, but do you understand the wear and tear that comes with doing that sort of work? on a very small womanly frame you want to talk about unnatural okay mm, somebody it's tight but it's right i'm just saying i'm just saying submission is a uh Submission is a very important word when it comes to romantic relationships. My um, my grandma used to say when we would play outside and stuff, y'all got too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Know what that means? Know what that means? Oh, Miss LaBliss says, this has opened my mind because I have been submissive and felt controlled and it feels horrible to feel like a doormat so i get a backbone and i feel i felt wrong for submitting here's the thing you don't understand what true submission is submission is okay can you have a head without a neck no you can't just put your head on your body you may be the head but i'm the neck you turn when i tell you to turn right if your neck is not cooperating, your head cannot function properly. You, There has to be someone in the lead. There has to be someone in the lead. Just because I'm leading you does not mean I'm abusing you. If you are choosing a leader for yourself, if you are choosing someone to submit to, and this person does not and has not had your best interests at heart, then that is your mistake, ma'am, not his. If you allow someone to mistreat you in the name of submission, that is your fault. No one should mistreat you just because they are in the lead leadership role. Would you go to work if all they were paying you is 25 cents? Would you continue going to work if all they did was give you 25 cents? No. No. You wouldn't. I was of the persuasion a few years back, a few very short years back, probably, well, yeah, about five years ago, that submission meant whatever you want, baby. Whatever you need, it's all about what you decide. But if you're submitting to somebody who's on a sinking ship, then you the fool, you the dummy. If you as a woman, which we do most times, can see what's going to happen. Okay, we're going into deep waters. <laughs> I don't think this is very wise. We shouldn't have done this. The water's getting choppy. Let's. Stop it. Hey. If you are submitting to that and you see that it's going awry, that is your fault. You can submit and then stop. Uh, thank you, Miss Divine Feminine. Don't forget to like the video. You can submit and then no longer submit. I am going to submit as long as we're winning, my friend. As long as you are winning, as long as our family is winning, as long as you are taking care of me and providing for me and protecting me and treating me like a queen and being everything to me to make sure that I'm able to sustain my role, then it's all good. The very moment that that stops is the very moment that I stop. I spoke about submission in my femininity course. Links down below. 
links down below. I spoke about this in my femininity course and went very, very deep in detail about submission. That's, what, that's why I got a backbone and learned how to respect myself and leave it when it doesn't feel right. Exactly. Exactly. And, it, and it's not about, you are actually, like I said, you are actually in the most submissive role because you send him out and you say, hey, hey, Mr. Big Man, Mr. Strong Big Man, we need money. See these couches and all of these lovely, luxurious stuff we need? Go to work. Go to work and get it. We need it. Baby needs milk. Baby needs diapers. We need electric. What you gonna do? That's submitting. But here is a major key to submission. In order to submit, you have to trust who you are submitting to. Mm-hmm. Pastor doesn't have her coffee. Lord. You have to trust who you're submitting to. If you do not trust the person you're submitting to, and you're in a relationship with them, again, that's your fault. Why are you with someone that you don't trust? Why are you with someone that you don't trust? That's your fault. Now, should you trust everybody? Let's work, work. I'm cooking. I'm cooking right now. I'm stirring the pot. Should you trust everyone? No, no, you should not. If you don't trust him, why are you with him? Everybody that I am with right now, I trust them with my life. But, but I will say this, you can trust someone. Well, I won't say that I trust them with my life. No, I won't say that. I don't really have a full on Here's my life. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. No, heck no. Let me stop lying because no, I don't. What I trust is I trust myself enough to know that whatever happens, I am going to be able to help to handle it. That's who I trust. First, most, and always. No matter what this fool decide to do, we going to be all right. No matter what you decide to do, we're going to be all right regardless. Do I come with this attitude? Absolutely not. He thinks, oh my God, what do I do without you? You're so big and strong. I need you. Help me. Help me. Please, please, please. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. That's what he thinks. But the undercurrent of that, I got it regardless. <laughs> regardless, we're good. Right? So is submission an advantage in a romantic relationship? Absolutely. When you submit, think about it. Black woman, black woman, black woman. Think about it. If I feel like you are submitting to me, that means I know that you need me. If I know you need me, that means I'm gonna show up. It's my family, it's my woman, and I'm gonna make sure they're okay. Right? Right. If I don't feel like there is a need for um, me and what I can provide, I'm not going to give you anything. Somebody said, vet the man first and see if he's able. Let me tell you something. If he has testosterone, if he has an Audi Winky Woo, he is able. A man will protect and provide for the woman that he wants. A man, they will sell cars. They will steal cars. They will 
uh, get two and three and four jobs, work in Walmart overnight. They will do any and everything to protect and provide for the woman that he feels needs it from him. If I don't feel like you need submission, I'm not doing crap. I'm not going to do nothing. Think about it like a man, you guys, logically. Why would I give my resources and my time to Miss Independent? Miss Independent, I got everything. I don't, I don't trust no man for nothing. I'm going to do it all for myself. You'll never get a provider man. I will bet y'all, I will bet each and every one of y'all Miss Independents that you'll never have a provider man. Ever. Ever. If you never submit, you will never have a provider man. Put that in your pop and smoke it. It's impossible. Why would I provide for you when you're not submitting? I provide for somebody who needs it. And that's the word. Questions? Hmm. I'm telling y'all, this is why there's a disparity in the black community. This is why so many black homes don't have fathers. This is why. This is, well, it's not the only reason why, but it's a major reason why. Because y'all are like, mm -mm, no, no, I'm not submitting to nothing. Okay. You don't have to. You're going to be over there by yourself, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Everybody plays their role. Exactly. You have your role. I have my role. How does a working woman come across someone who needs help? How does a working woman come across as? So, you know, he doesn't have to know that you work. He doesn't have to know where you work. He doesn't have to know any of those things about you. Submission is quiet. If I'm submitting, oh my God, your job, how do you do your job so well? You're such a big, strong man. I don't think I could ever do a job so hard like you. Real easy. Just because I'm submitting doesn't mean I'm doing everything. Doesn't mean that I'm not doing something over here too. I can submit and have my own little stuff going on over here. He doesn't have to know about it though. How much are you making? Oh, I made $20 last month. Oh, oh my God. Just saying. Submission is, don't forget to like the video. Everybody, don't forget to like the video. Women are multitaskers. Well, 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 y'all love. Yes, we are. Which video can I watch when a guy you just meet wants to pay you for what want when a guy you just meet want to pay for you to come visit him thank you there is no video what is your brain telling you what is your brain telling you miss todd about a man who wants to pay you to come visit him what is your brain telling you you don't need a video for that does that seem safe Does that seem safe? Well, then don't go, baby. I just met him. He wants to pay me. What that mean? Love the struggle. Exactly. You know? Do you visit him outside? Yes, you know, you should be going out. You should be meeting men. You should be dating and having fun and doing all of these things. Yes, I tell y'all all the time, go out. Go out, have fun. I don't tell you to go to the man 
hotel room i don't tell you to fly to a whole city where you don't know nobody you don't have any resources or anything i've never said anything like that i said go out and mingle that you know oh thank you thank you miss shay miss shay jones says i took your advice and have been practicing saying i need your help to all men in my life even my son and they jump to help i'm telling you if there is a need a man will provide but men think that submitting is cooking and cleaning. I thought we weren't cooking and cleaning. No, they don't. You can be submissive as you're telling your personal chef what to do. Submitting means that you're working, okay? You're working 80, 195, 11 hours a week, okay? So since I know you're working, that means I know you need a meal to keep you strong. I don't have to cook it with my hands. But if I'm making sure that you are eating and I'm contributing to your sustenance, that doesn't mean that I'm being submissive, if that makes sense. Yes, exactly. You can cook and clean and not be submissive at all. You know? Can money be sort of a trap? Like, I do all this for you, but you do nothing for me. I left someone for this. Yes, men will absolutely use the fact that, hey, I gave you all this money, so you owe me. I, you, and again, it is up to you how you handle this. You giving me money is you contributing to my livelihood. I contribute to your, you know, whatever, your livelihood, and you contribute to mine, basically. But there's two different ways that we do it. Women do it differently than men. I'm not supposed to give you money just because you give me money. If you give me money and I go purchase groceries for our household, I'm contributing. Mm -hmm. But yes, people do use money as a trap. If you stay in that trap, again, that's your fault. You can be financially abused, absolutely. And there's a lot of women who are, but you don't have to stay there. When you submit to the wrong person, that can definitely happen to you. How can we show provider men we appreciate them without money? Words of affirmation. My dad and my brother provide for the family. I started telling my brother he is a leader and expecting him to lead. Um, so words of affirmation, yes. You can um, ask him. So what, what do you want? You do so much for us. What do you want? And I guarantee you a provider man will say nothing. He will say, I don't, I don't need anything. I'm just a big, strong man. I don't need anything. Ask him. Let, him. let him know, I appreciate you so much. I just wish I could do something for you, but you just handle it all. And he'll say, yep, that's right. I'm a man, baby, and I don't need nothing. Just saying. Most provider men don't want you to do anything for them because, again, it's unnatural. That's like saying, hey, do you want me to put a rubber band on your pee-pee? I'd love to put a rubber band on your pee-pee. You deserve it. He's going to say, heck no. Get away from me, lady. Let. You're on your way to brunch with a PSD. Oh, um, but when he touches my shoulder, it grosses me out. How to do the mind over matter thing. If you grow stout, don't go. If he's a potential sugar daddy and he's not giving you money, you don't get to touch me. Back up. Back up, bucko. Why are you touching me? You have not. Can you touch my palm with some money? When you touch my palm with some money, it don't gross me out. Touch my palm and then you can touch my shoulder. Till then, we're not touching. And don't go. I mean, if it gross you out like that, stay at home, girl. You don't have to endure nothing you don't want to. They are twisting the scriptures. Well, we're actually not talking about scriptures, but okay. I think the thought counts, so I'll use that, Mickey. Oh, good. Thank you. What do you say to the woman that quotes the Bible saying that they're a man's helpmate? It annoys me. You are. Think about it. That's not annoying. Think about it. That is actually pretty factual. If you are working, 
Uh, if you are working and you're providing 100% of my sustenance, I'm going I'm, I'm going to make you a sandwich. Uh, I am. I might, you know, wash a little load, take your clothes to the cleaner. I'm going to do something. Come on. You are his help mate. He needs your help. Again, if I'm on the front lines, I'm going to work, I'm fighting traffic, I'm getting cussed out by these people, I'm cheating and lying and doing all this stuff to get to the top of my company so that I can bring home millions. How are you not his helpmate? I'm going to be a helpmate to somebody that's providing millions for my home. <laughs> you need some help, baby? I got you some chocolate-covered almonds from the gas station that you love. I'm gonna help you. Give you a little massage. Yes, Miss Bree. Miss Bree said, I would rather be a helpmate than go to work all day. <sighs> Somebody. Y'all are not thinking about it the way that it naturally is. A woman is a helpmate. You don't help, exactly. You don't help nobody that ain't helping you. Put, it, put some hand claps for Miss Aria. You don't help anybody who's not helping you. She said that's the point, especially if you're married as well, if he's the main provider. If you mean to tell me that these men are providing everything for you, exactly, but you can't let the man come home and talk to you, you don't want to make him a little egg sandwich at night, You've been at home all day and he got off late. You mean to tell me you don't want to stay up with him and talk and have pillow talk and y'all have trampoline stuff and, you know, then you wake up and make him a little egg sandwich or something? Y'all don't want to do that? Don't you know a man will appreciate... Y'all don't want to learn. Y'all don't want to learn. <laughs> Y'all don't want to learn about the egg sandwich at midnight after you didn't had trampoline stuff? My man love my egg sandwiches. Mm -hmm. That's how they lose their husbands. You better let them know because guess what? The side chick is happy to be to make a little egg sandwich at midnight. I called in today. He and feel guilty. He pays for everything, but I want to add to our coins. Why? Again, again, you are taking. That's like. I'm not gonna say it again. Just rewind it, baby. Since you feel guilty. Push pause and rewind this video over and over and over. Over and over and over. Hmm. Just rewind it, baby. You took off work. Wait till this video is over and push play again and just keep watching it till you don't feel guilty no more. Love struggling. Why do you love struggling? Exactly. Exactly. Miss me, one, two, three. Yeah, I don't like I said before, I'm not a gold digger. I'm not. I I for real do not consider myself a gold digger because I I know what I'm bringing to the table. If I'm bringing this, you got to be bringing this and nothing less than that. You know? Other women in other countries understand this concept. Why can't black women get it? I see a man I see a man standing by the Jordan, wiping tears from everybody's eye. I see a man. Hmm. Just saying, y'all. What does... Now everybody wants to tell their race. Everybody put your race. Everybody put your race in the comments. I'm a black woman. I'm biracial. <laughs> we are talking about generations of black women not submitting. That's why they don't get it. I don't have that. Thank goodness I don't have that in my story. I don't have that in my story. Exactly, Miss Me123. The guy I'm seeing is building an apartment complex. How do I get him to give me an apartment? 
I want to rent it out and get some extra income. Bessie, Bessie, Bessie. He is a real estate investor. Instead of you saying, what do I have to do to get him to give me some money so that I can maximize the full potential of his earning, you want him to give you one apartment. I said I wouldn't. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Miss Me One Two Three. Golly, ooh. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why. Why is that your concept? Why isn't it? Hey, let me be. Let me submit. Why isn't the energy of your interaction with this man? Let me find a way to submit to him so fully to get him to give me substantially large amounts of money. Why are you trying to take what he's doing and make money off of it yourself? Again, because you don't trust him. If you don't trust him, you need to stop being with him. So, for information about consultations, for information about consultations and um, ways to contact me, they're all below in the comment section. Um, oh, thank you, Miss Me123. Imagine how you would feel if, you, if your child tried to chip in on rent because they felt they couldn't pro you couldn't provide for them. Ooh, come on, spirit. I was about to get off the video, but that you helped me. I was about to get off the video, but you helped me with that one. Y'all, I really try. I really try not to just quit YouTube because this is very stressful. I just can't understand how people. Anyway, anyway, imagine how you would feel if your child came to you and said, Mommy, I was selling candy at school and here's three dollars to you girl this is about to make me cry and here's three dollars because i know you barely making it i know you barely making it mama so here's some candy that i sold at school to give you because you ain't you i know you ain't making it for us that's sad that would break oh god that would break me down that would break me totally all the way down if my baby did that break me down that would break me down. I would start selling some pee pee before I let my baby do that. And with boy children, that is a definite possibility. If your boys don't ever, sidebar, skirt. If you ever have a boy child, do not let your sons see you struggle or cry because of finances. That's a breeding ground to burglary and stealing stuff because they will do whatever to make sure their mom is okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Am I going to do another video after this? You know, I was going to do another video, but I'm, I, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. There's a lady cop in front of you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Where's the cancer video? Um, it's somewhere under here, under here. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Me123. She says, that is how your man feels. And you steady chopping off his manhood. Keep going 50-50 so a younger chick can take him one day. 
Miss Me One Two Three is preaching all in the comments, y'all. She is preaching the word. You understand me, y'all? Y'all mad you getting cheated on by Quita down here with six baby daddies, but you Miss Independent and you got everything together. I've I've done that video. Miss Independent will always get left for the chick with six baby daddies. They don't care. They don't care nothing about that. As long as you make me feel a certain way, submit to me. Do you understand that giving some of someone a feeling is a way of you submitting to them? Do you guys understand that? I can submit to you by stroking your ego. Oh, baby, you're so strong. I love the way you cut the grass. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Do you understand that? Absolutely a possibility. Absolutely a possibility. You can submit just by stroking his ego. That is definitely an act of submission. When you submit, think about it. If I'm getting ready to cuss you out, oh, look, look. I can't stand you. And you say, oh my God, Mickey, you are so pretty when you scream at me like that. You know, I know you're upset right now, but I really love you. You're the best person I've ever met. Don't you see how doing that will slowly break down my defenses? Mm-hmm. Submission. Submission. This was a hard one, y'all. I knew it was going to be hard for me, but I wanted to do it anyway because I know that it is very relevant and very needed. Very needed. Very needed. You, um, The more you learn and the more you maximize this in your romantic relationships, the more you will benefit. Let's think about the, okay, and I'm going to end on this. Think about the Asian culture. The whole culture is submissive, by the way. The men are submissive even, which is kind of weird. But the, the are Asian women normally single moms? We're going to marinate on that. Are Asian women single moms? Oh, okay. They, it, don't, it really doesn't get more submissive than them. And their husbands have classically been known as providers. All the Asian people I know over here, their husbands are rolling in dough. And she just as quiet as she can be. Quiet. She just be like, You don't never hear from her. You ain't got to hear from her. You know why? She busy counting them stacks. That's why. Just saying. Who has the highest rate of single mothers? African American women. Why? You, you got to get you an Asian man. So, Boo Boo Kitty, you, you missed the whole point. <laughs> God damn. All right. All right. Okay. So, um, all the links to all my stuff is in the <laughs> so link below. Uh, if you want to contact me, if you want a consultation, probably don't want a consultation after this because, Lord. Um, our men do not suck. No, they don't. No, they don't. They suck for you. Man, I, ooh, I can do a video. How to date a black man. Y'all want me to do that video? Y'all want me to do that video since y'all want to give him such a bad rap? But no, nah, because then y'all will say I'm being a pick me. No, they don't. No, they don't. Black people 
are the biggest consumers in the whole United States. If a black man will spend $80,000 on a car, what makes you think he won't spend on his woman? Y'all just don't know how to get it from him because y'all don't want to submit. You want to talk about they suck. Do we suck? Do black women suck? <whistles> oh, Lord. Miss me, one, two, three, preaching in the comments. Come on. Y'all, if, if they suck, then what that mean? They spend money. Oh, they do. And they spend money on women, too. I have, well, I can't tell y'all what I have, but... In the past, I have had several black sugar daddies, not African. I'm talking about African-American. Every black man I've ever dated has treated me like a 100% queen. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Now, I have been cheated on. I have been with some overly aggressive men, so I can't say every, just saying. A majority. Y'all know. Oh, don't get me on here to lie. I ain't never been treated bad. Mm -mm. All black men is good. Let me not get on here lying. But I'm just saying. Y'all better get it together. Don't do that. Because if they suck, then it's, it's, there's polarity there, you know? Didn't I say my first sugar daddy was black? Did I? Until very recently, I only dated black men. So, possibly. Y'all know my life better than me. Damn, did I say it? What video? What was I wearing? How was my eyeshadow? Y'all know me better than me. You tell me. Did I say it? God darn. Just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. There has to be... You You have what you say. This is... I'll, I'll leave with this. You have what you say. If you think all men, black men suck, then they will suck in your life. If you think a black woman never have a chance because everybody is against the black woman and it's, you know, ain't no way. That's why Asian me. I need to give me an Asian man. If that's what you think then that will be a reality for you. That'll be a reality for you. If you feel like, you know, I, I just ain't ready to go uh, freestyling because I need to lose some weight, then you're not ready. Stay at home. If you feel like every other race of women is winning, they just want black women to suffer, black women are the reason why, then that's the reality for you. It's not a reality for me. Because I'm, I'm black. I'm over here black as they come. I'm black. At least, you know. Everybody want to talk about being colorist. Oh, she want to be light-skinned and she want to be... So what? So what if somebody want to be light-skinned? Do what works. If you feel like being light-skinned is beneficial for you, then do it. Mickey, you got good hair, though. Bye. I'm done with this video. I'm officially done. I'm so done with this video. <sighs> Lord help. Lord help. I, you know, um... <laughs> I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys um, can take what I'm saying and use it 
in an effective way. If you feel like what I'm saying is crazy, put it in the comments and be respectful. If you feel like what I'm saying is on point, put it in the comments. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on submission. I did a video on submission where I highlighted um, Fantasia Barino and her husband, and they were talking about submission. And, um, and that was a recorded video, so I'll probably link that one here. Go back and watch that one. Do I feel like submission is a bad thing? No, I don't. I feel like it is what you make it. So I'm Michaela Pink and that's what I think. Bye.